what's going on everyone just give me a little fill in of what the plans are for today we're gonna go down and uh, clear some more snow that'll be fun can't wait next year should be fun going to help uh, a co-worker of mine out gonna clear his barn and pull his shed in his house I think is what we're doing but we're gonna go shovel all that snow up the roof in preparation of the Wisconsin weather that we're about to have. I believe 10 to 18 inches are gonna come and start in about four or five hours. So I gotta drive about an hour there, spend two or three hours there, come back home and try to be home before the big uh, the big storm hits. Should be a good time. Actually, I don't mind the snow all that much. I, I lived here my whole life, so I'm used to the snow. I don't like working in it, because I work both sides, so it makes it not that much fun. But in general, I don't mind it. I don't mind it when it happens on a Saturday night. It'll be done by Sunday. It's only a 12 hour storm, they said, a cell. Produced 18 inches of snow. But, yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, Gonna run around a little bit, got some more errands to run today. And then uh Yeah. This is the calm before the storm. These roads are not bad at all, they're perfect. I mean, this is easy driving all day long. We've got good winter tires, like a lot of us people up here in the Midwest have, you know, most of us. This is all easy going driving. But this road will be covered up in a you know, short time here and here, four or five hours. They're already plowing. We had an inch of snow or two last night, so they're just trying to keep everything cleared off. My roads by my house, they're all covered white, but they're still, they weren't too bad. So, yeah, we're gonna keep on heading this way. I got another 45 minutes to drive, maybe give or take a little bit. Take it nice and easy. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Well, we're about 10 minutes out. A little less. Just gave me a quick update. Some gorgeous country around here. See a lot of snowmobilers. Everybody's getting ready to enjoy the big snowfall. But uh, gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous out here. It's one of those things you got to see in person. If you drive all the back roads, you really get to, get to love ever, all of that. I'll try to get some good clips here and see if we can get some cool cool things to uh, show you. Some excitement. Well, that took a lot longer than both of us expected. Now it's 8 o'clock at night and I'm driving through a blizzard to get home. So I'm not going to film too much of it. Just want to let you know that's where we're at. We cleared off. Size he said the barn was. It's a good sized barn, and then we cleared off uh, the house and all the little little nooks and crannies of snow. I had two feet of snow and everything. And right now we got that blizzard starting right now. So we're on our way home, traveling, taking it nice and easy. We're on the back roads. I'm not taking any main roads. I don't care. We've got all the time in the world when it comes to driving. Take your time. But uh, I'll switch it around and show you what, what we're looking at here. As you can see, it's started raining and sleeting late afternoon when we were cleaning that rough. It just got worse and worse, and then uh, they fed me dinner, so that was pretty cool. So then after that, it was a little late, we got out of there. And now we're traveling at, we're doing 35, we're doing pretty good. We're going down big hills though, and down through these valleys and stuff, so. We'll take it nice and slow and steady and get home, but that's what, uh, that's what we're dealing with. Man, it's hard to take it in with the, uh, the camera of the blizzardy like conditions. But it's a good little, good little jaunt.
So, yeah, you're gonna think that, uh, kind of funny. I only got a shovel a spot as wide as that garage door and about 25 feet long. It's the width of my Suburban and the length of my Suburban. And you're gonna laugh and see why just that one spot I got, I have to have shoveled up every single time. Because it is tight getting that truck in here. And you're gonna see, it's pretty funny. I'll show you. I'm gonna flip this camera around. First thing, gotta push this up. That's gotta go all the way to the top, 100%. Just on that one corner. Everything else is there. I'm gonna set you up right here. Sorry the lighting's bad. This shop doesn't have very good lights. Maybe in the future we'll put more in there. All right. Oh, hopefully it doesn't tip over. Huh. We'll give it a shot. Well, yep, that's it. That's what uh, a Western Wisconsin snow blizzard looks like driving in. And it's not even bad yet. It's just, you know, only got a couple inches so far. But that's a couple inches in an hour. It's, you know, it's supposed to be hitting pretty heavy here in a couple hours. But yeah, that was a fun, nice little drive. We uh, get the snow in my beard. Beard's all wet. But yeah, we're wrapping this up tonight. And, uh, should be good. I don't, don't look like much out there right now, but trust me. It's quite a quite a long drive. It was two and a half hours to get home from where I was at instead of an hour. That's, that's, that's a long drive. But anyways, uh, yeah. We'll get some more things going here. Got some more projects next weekend. We have a table to build for a customer. So we'll get that built up and... That all look nice. Everything will fill in nice. Ah, oh, jeez. Everything's all out of whack. We'll get it looking good. There we go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, well, oh, oh. There we go. Anyways, we're going to wrap up the video right here and uh, end it with this. You know, enjoy. You guys have a good night. We'll see you soon.